When you first boot the desk, it will ask you to select an operating mode, either basic full or basic partial. For now, select basic full and press enter or press the relevant MFK. The default setup of your desk gives you control over 48 generic dimmers using the preset faders. These faders are divided into two banks, preset A and preset B. Preset A is the top bank of the desk and controls channels 1 to 24. Preset B is the bottom bank and controls channels 25 through 48. The level of these faders is controlled by the two preset master faders. The function of these faders is controlled by preset control button beneath them. There is also a grandmaster fader which inhibits the overall output of the desk. Making sure that the grandmaster and A and B master faders are at the top of their travel and that the preset control button has its LED in A faders B stored position, you can set a scene using the preset faders and it will output on stage using channels 1 to 48. If you now press the preset control button, the desk will store the levels of the channels into an internal memory and switch the function of the two master faders. The LED will now be on in the B faders A stored position, indicating that the B master fader is controlling the level of the faders and that the A master fader is controlling a stored scene. If you look closely at the markings on the front panel of the desk, you will notice that the B master fader is an inverted fader, meaning that it runs from naught at the top to 100% at the bottom, instead of the other way around. This means that when both the masters are at the top of their travel, the stored scene is outputting and that the faders are inactive. You can show this by taking down the preset faders you have up. The lights on stage will stay as they are, because their level is coming from a stored scene. Now you can set up a second scene blind, that is, it won't appear on stage. Once you've set up a scene, you can bring the A master and B master faders to the bottom of their travel to crossfade between the stored scene on the A master and the scene on the faders on the B master. Once you have completed the crossfade, you can press the preset control button to store the faders and swap the masters. You can then repeat the process, setting up a new scene, crossfading, and pressing the buttons as many times as you want. For some simple shows, this is all you will need on the desk.